Hey guys, it's Salem and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, today is gonna to be a full face using only Essence makeup. Now, I've never tried anything from Essence before, so this is gonna be also a first impressions and kind of like a hits or misses kind of video. So I'm gonna be doing this whole look using only Essence. It's affordable, it's very cheap, but is it worth it? So you guys will find out at the end of the video. So if you wanna see a full face using only Essence, then please keep on watching. So I have all my products laid out and first we're gonna go into primer. So the primer that I picked up is the Essence Hydrating and Perfecting Primer, which looks like this. And this has SPF 20 in there as well, and it says to shake well. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna be. It smells very um, skin y smells definitely like skincare. Okay, this dropper doesn't work. It feels definitely very moisturizing-ish. You know, it feels like a moisturizer, but it feels very lightweight as well. I wouldn't say it's super, super hydrating, but it's still feeling really soft on the skin. It almost gives a little bit of luminosity, but the main thing is it definitely does feel soft. So it's an okay primer. Um, I think I will have to play around with it more. We are gonna go into eyes now. I'm gonna let that primer just settle into the skin. I really wanna focus on eyes because I bought this palette, which is the Essence Hello Berlin palette. And this is what it looks like, gorgeous tones. I literally just dug my finger into it whilst I was taking the film off, which is so typical, but I really wanna play around with this shade right here. So I'm gonna go into that one. They don't have shade names, but it's just this one right here. It has a ton of fallout, a ton of fallout. I'm basically gonna start and just drag this on the lash line. This is a really, really nice color and it's super pigmented. This is without a base, really pigmented and really nice matte uh, finish. So I'm almost gonna drag it out to do a wing. Next, I'm going into this shade right here. It's basically like a kind of grayish green. Just gonna buff that over the kind of sea foam deep green. So I'm going back into that kind of grayish green and just popping it in the crease. You want to kind of connect it to that wing as well. Now going into this kind of pinky frosty shade. Let's see how these shimmers perform. I'm just taking a flat brush and just packing this on the lid. I'm gonna take my finger and see, oh, it's kind of like a rose gold. Do you see that? It has a gold shift to it. Oh yes, much better with your fingers. So I'm just gonna do the other side with my finger and I'm basically just packing this over the greens. I'm taking a little bit of this shade right here. It looks like a black, but I think it's kind of like a navy blue, but let's see. I'm just running that on the lash line, but very, very close. And last but not least, taking a little bit of this shade right here and putting it in the inner corner. Oh, this is stunning. <gasps> okay, that's like my new favorite inner corner highlight. I love a really, really bright shimmery inner corner highlight. So I'm absolutely loving how the eyes are looking and I absolutely love this palette, just first impression. So now we're gonna go into a eyeliner and this one is the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. Oh, it's very stiff. So it's not one of those pens that are flexible. Okay, I'm actually really hating this. <laughs> So my thoughts are that I'm not really liking this. Um, I'll still, of course, use it because I don't like to waste products, 
but um, it's just not black, it's not, it's very stiff. I mean, it's created obviously a nice wing. I can still work with it, that's not a problem. It's just not really a good eyeliner. It's not black. Um, I'll have to test the waterproof aspect of it and see how it is throughout the day and I'll update you in the description box, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So for the mascara, this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. The wand looks nice, looks promising, and it looks like that. I'm like focusing so hard to see what I think about it. It feels like it's coating them really nicely, but I've had better. I love my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal, and I just feel like that's still way better than this. I mean, I know this is a lot more affordable, but it's not a bad mascara. I just, I mean, it's good. It, it is actually good. And I'm definitely seeing it doing something to my lashes at least. Actually, it's really nice. So now we're gonna move on to the base products, which I'm very excited about. So for my foundation, which I'm actually very scared to try out as well, but this is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake make makeup healthy glow foundation um this is the lightest shade the lightest shade and it is in fresh ivory this we already know is incredibly dark for me for it to be the lightest shade and i just i hate that um because i just know it's not gonna work for me but let's give it a go it also says it has cranberry water and vitamin complex so we're gonna go into fresh ivory Oh, it has a bit of a scent. I don't know what this foundation is, if it's sheer, if it's full coverage. Oh, it feels very cooling. Breathable texture with wake up effect. Let your skin healthy glow. What? That doesn't make sense. Breathable texture with wake up effect. Let your skin healthy glow. That really doesn't make sense. It has a strong scent, which I'm not loving, like a kind of perfumey skincare-y scent. But I love the way my skin is feeling with this foundation on. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything, but the main thing is it feels very cooling, almost kind of like plump and hydrating. It feels very, very creamy, and you can see it just blends right into the skin. I absolutely love the formula of this, but I'm just not loving the shade, of course. It's not that bad, actually, especially if I go in with, you know, lighter concealer and a lighter powder. But um, this definitely is more medium coverage. I'm just gonna go in with just a tiny bit more. It definitely does oxidize because on my hand, I'm noticing that it's turned darker. And I think you can tell as well. Um, it's definitely oxidized a lot, but um, let's see how the concealer is gonna pair with it. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be a lighter concealer, the Camouflage Matte Concealer. And it also says waterproof and it covers tattoos. This is the doe foot applicator. Oh, thank you. It's a lot lighter. But I wonder if this concealer will oxidize as well. If this concealer stays true to color, then this would be like my new favorite concealer color. Let's just go in. Does it say, it said full coverage, right? Well, tattoo covering. It doesn't say full coverage, but if it covers tattoos, it must mean it's Super full coverage. Oh, wow. Maybe we can test on my tattoo, uh, maybe on this one right here, just to see if it covers. Okay, this concealer, I'm gonna work with it fast because I don't know if it dries down. This concealer is beautiful. The consistency, again, it has that scent, but the consistency is just blending out really, really nicely. It's definitely for coverage. You can go in with a little bit more, but like I wouldn't go in with any more than that. The shade is perfect. It actually goes nicely with the foundation. So I'm gonna go in right here and just... Oh, wow. So it definitely does cover tattoos, but I feel like you would have to just keep 
going in with lots of layers. It definitely does cover tattoos, but like I said, you would have to go in maybe with three or four layers to really get it covered. So now I'm gonna go in with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. I'm hoping that this is gonna bring a little bit of life back into the skin and just kind of brighten everything up. So this is what it looks like and maybe it can lighten up that foundation. So this could be, oh, it feels super silky smooth. This could be a nice brightening powder um, and a dupe for the KKW one. But let's go in and see. Just applying this to my under eyes and just pressing it in, dragging it down a little bit onto the apples of the cheeks. I can't really tell much difference, but what I do love is how fine the powder is. It feels like baby powder. It feels super fine. I'm absolutely loving that as well. It's actually a really nice consistency. One thing I will give Essence is their formulas. Definitely, definitely nice formulas. So now for the bronzer, I'm going in with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. This is a huge bronzer. It's actually a lot, but I guess it's worth your money because it is really affordable for the amount they give you. So this is in the shade Natural and it says it's for lighter skin. And this is what it looks like. Again, has a kind of coconutty tropical scent. Let's see the color. Looks like it's gonna be a nice, just everyday bronzer. I love trying new bronzers. I'm not liking the scent. Actually, a lot of the Essence products have um, a scent to them. They aren't fragrance free. So I'm not actually liking that, but Again, I'm loving the formula. It looks super, super just silky. It's going on really smoothly and it's not dragging. It's not looking, you know, too orangey. It's not looking just too heavy. It just looks really, really natural. Wow, this is a, a really nice color actually for fair skin tones. I think they may have a darker shade as well. I would hope they have a darker shade. I'm loving this bronzer. I think it looks so good. The only thing is I can smell the products on my skin, which I'm not loving. Like I can smell the, the primer, the foundation, the bronzer. It's all very perfumey and I'm not liking that whatsoever. But the, you know, everything is still looking really, really nice and blending out just perfectly. Now we're gonna go into blusher. I'm very excited for this one because it looks like a color that's right up my alley. And this is the Essence The Blush in Be Fitting, which looks like this. And it just looks like a really nice kind of mauve pink blusher. Feels exactly like the bronzer, that same sort of, ooh, this is pigmented. That is pigmented. Same consistency as the bronzer. Oh, this is such a nice color. And it looks really, really nice. It looks very soft on the cheeks. So this is what the blush is looking like. And I'm really, really, really liking how it just kind of made the cheeks just pop. It kind of rang a little bit of life back into the skin. And I'm not gonna lie, my skin is looking absolutely heavenly. It's looking so flawless and smooth. And it just, I don't know, there's something about these cheeks. They're just kind of, they're just, Mm, they're just popping today. I don't know what it was. I don't I don't know if it's the brightening powder, if it's the blusher, the contour. I don't know, but I'm loving how the look came out. So now it's just the lips left. So the lipstick and lip gloss. And then we're going to see how this all looks, which looks like this. And it's in the shade Bold, which is a really pretty kind of nude pink brown shade and then we have a gloss apparently these are like really really famous glosses as well i see everyone using these and i saw tons of reviews to say that these were one of the best lip glosses this is the essence shine 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 lip gloss and it's in the shade let it go which is just this kind of wet looking peachy clear gloss so first i'm gonna go in with the lipstick i'll do a little swatch <gasps> super creamy and moisturizing see right there so let's go in oh feels super creamy oh these are very shiny and not sticky whatsoever 
oh my god it feels like oil on the lips wow like it feels so slippery but in a nice way it doesn't feel sticky oh, let me know what you guys think so i will do a little close-up so you guys can see how everything looks So do let me know your thoughts down below. I will say I do think Essence is worth it. I'm sure they have a ton of other products that are amazing, but I did get a good look and feel of a variety of products in their line. You know, the banana powder, the foundation, primer, mascara, a little bit of everything basically. And I must say that I do definitely love some of the products while some other things I don't like. For example, the um, eyeliner I really didn't like. I just didn't think it was black. It was very stiff. It was hard to work with. And um, yeah, it's just one that I didn't love. The eyeshadow palette is definitely one of my favorites. Um, it has fallout, but it is very pigmented and very blendable. And it's just, it's a really, really nice formula. Again, I've mentioned in the video, but the formula of Essence is really, really just up there. It's really great quality for the price that it is. The only downside is like the fragrances in their products, the shade range, the fallout. Um, it's just, it is hit or miss. There are going to be some amazing products and some that just aren't going to be, you know, wow. And for example, like the... I am just dropping everything. The um, blusher, I definitely, definitely love. I definitely wanna get a few other shades in this um, formula. It's great. The bronzer, I absolutely loved. I mean, that's amazing. Even the brightening powder, I'm gonna start using more because I feel like it just kind of lifted up these cheeks just a little bit and just gave a little bit of brightness into my skin. Even if it's not a really bright effect, it just gave a little bit of life. Even the foundation formula, I absolutely loved it. It's just, again, the shade was off and the scent so i definitely think essence is worth it um because the price is really affordable and you can't really go wrong but again it's just those kinds of little um, misses so yes let me know all your thoughts down below have you tried essence if you're going to try essence and i hope this video was helpful and enjoyable as well let me know down below what other four faces you want to see i did do a full face of makeup revolution and a full face of elf so you can go check that out after this video but i'm gonna let you guys go now and until next time i'll speak to you guys all in my next video